Okay, let's start with this tutorial using the array and this part is the part 3, the tutorial series sketch from the sketch to 3D rendering. Uh, as you can see right now is uh, the mountain building from the, the tutorial series and I'm gonna show how to set up the beret system rendering for a night scene so please press F10 or rendering render is the top and you can watching right now is the actual picture or actual frame with the and with the right to stop set up for for the night scene So, in this scene, we're going to use uh, three basic lights. The first light, the sphere, the yellow sphere, is a beret light. So, the setup for this sphere beret light is checking the type and click sphere and check double size and invisible and check ignore the light normals. The radius of the sphere is up to you. But the subdivision sampling should be 12. Now we're gonna use the standard what again checking the array you click the light tab, the light button and check the ray. Let's go with the standard light. This is a only simple standard light. But in this setup, you can use the shadows and the multiplier with these parameters. Just 0.898. And the color is just a, like a yellow brown yellow gold with this part of the and the target spot for the YouTube users you can check my website and you have all the data information in the website remember you're watching this tutorial from the YouTube I recommend check my website and you have all the information, all the requirements, all that you need to do this tutorial. And it's well explained, this is a snake preview of how I want to work with this night scene using the ray. Now you check in the light com. The hot, hot being is a 133 and the fallout is 135. So, I'm just showing in the different views the exactly position in all these lights. So we have three light. One is for the environment light. The second light is the light from the sky. You know the stars, the moon. That's the kind of light for the night. And the artificial light from the street lights. Now I'm gonna start with my render setup using beret. And please check. The default light. There's a magic trick in this. And the rest is default in global switchers. I'm gonna reorganize to make simple this setup. I'm gonna select the nine and the the right tabs for the setup.
very very simple. Just let me reorganize like this. Okay. I was told you you need default and check the default light and in very color mapping use the HSB exponential. Now in V-ray environment, the multiplier is 0.2 and the second reflection and refraction environment override is 0.3 and you have the, the right color in each slot color. Remember you have this information in the website problem I just I just showing how how to proceed in this, in this video. Okay, we're gonna start working on with the GI on Bayray indirect illumination or GI. So uh, you can use in my primary bounds is the GI engine was in Monte Carlo and the secondary is like chain. Very important the second bounds to be the like chain. But in the first gene we need to set up in beret sample. Set up in beret sample. Twelve and the type is Image sample antilizes anti aliancing sorry LTV QMC Right, I'm just checking the beret in the beret alternative. Right. Everything I check is for default. So remember, it's just use the to check the default light and set up the first in G in the primary bounds in the GI R now. And checking the ray frame buffer because the frame buffer is so fast to rendering every frame for the scene. So you have to just a still image. I recommend use the frame in scene. And obviously, if you create a lot of frames, use this it's more easy for very rate in your in rendering. Do this is the heavy work. Remember, so just checking everything. The rest is just default. You can play with this. You know that um, in having your mind, the, the, the magic trick is to check the default light and in the environment. Use a dark color for the night on. The GI primary was a Monte Carlo primary bonds and the second is like a check is recommended. It's mandatory. Now the tricks, the tricks, all the tricks to use is exposure control. This is exposure control. It's an amazing tool to correct this tiny detail. And the, the other one I check now is the correction, color correction. So I click in the color correction. I'm gonna use the curves. This is I have this using the beret frame buffer. You have this option using the beret buffer. So like in Photoshop, using the curves, you can correct. It's up to you. The the brightness and the contrast outlet of the curves to have a nice result from the still images. So I just 
correcting this to have a nice one still matches. Remember this is for exposure control. Color correction. The other one. This is the RGB control. If you check this, is this the real the real rendering without this in this asteroid. Thanks so much.